Hey, welcome in to Cage Red Zone, Cage Red Zone Radio, 103.7.com. We're talking to offensive coordinator Jay Johnson. Well, coach, um, what has been or what is your feeling right now going into Arkansas? Where do you feel you guys are at as an offensive unit? Well, I'm excited. We've, we've had uh, some good preparations, and we started off camp, you know, going against ourselves and the defense. Uh, it's kind of up and down, but I feel in the last week and a half to two weeks, we've really kind of honed our timing in, honed our mechanics and our skills, and, and really feel good about the way we've been performing. Coach, you know, obviously, uh, from the you know, everyone wanted to talk this week about the comparisons of playing Florida last year, uh, you know, but uh, I look at I look at where Terrence was at then, and I look at where he was at in spring from the New Orleans Bowl to spring until now. What has been his, his, his transition? And obviously, he's not the same quarterback he was when you guys walked on the field in Gainesville. Absolutely. You know, I, I think it's anytime a quarterback can get some more starts, it's going to change how he performs and how he plays. And he's had the luxury to do that. You know, he was uh, still young last year as a true starter at that quarterback spot. So time, I mean, he's had time. And he's such a great student of the game. He studies the game. He studies himself mechanically and fundamentally. He studies the schemes. And I think takes you to another level, and I feel that's where Terrence is at. Uh, obviously, Coach, you've had a couple of um, you, know, you, you added a couple of guys. Well, we added Ricky Johnson this year, who's an experienced uh, receiver. Maybe not the same system, but certainly a, a, a good system at Tulsa, and had a lot of experience. And uh, and Figueroa looks like he's really starting to get healthy and healthy. So, two experienced guys there in the depth chart amongst some of the younger receivers. Uh, to help you with your starters. Uh, how do you feel about that core? Uh, very good. Uh, you know, Coach Munoz does an exceptional job with those guys and feel really good about uh, about, about that position. You know, I, you, you hit it right on the head. I think uh, Ricky Johnson is coming to his own here the last week or so, and Devin Figaro has done some very good things too. So I, I think they each have their role, and their roles are a little bit different, but in the right time and the right place, I definitely feel they'll contribute. Coach, uh, this uh, looking at the weather <laughs> factor this week, they've already moved the uh, Weather forecast up to 95, so uh, I would think that we, we would feel pretty good about playing up there since we haven't had much much of temperatures lower than that fall fall. No, I, it, it feels like it's 95 here every day, so our guys embrace that, and, and that will be a good challenge for us, but I, I think we've been prepared. We've been preparing through it all camp, so we're looking forward to the opportunity to play. Last question, Coach. Um, what what are you looking for when, when, when you snap the ball, the first, the first play of the game, uh, when the offense gets the ball? I mean, what are you going to be looking for to get the kind of a feel if your guys are ready to go or if, it, or if you know, what, what it's going to be like game? Well, I mean, it's going to be an unbelievable atmosphere. They have a great program, uh, you know, new coaching staff. There's a lot of excitement in Fayetteville. So it's going to be a neat atmosphere. But I, I think our guys are excited for the challenge. We know it's going to be a good challenge. But I look for our guys to come off the football and, and, and do what we know how to do, run our schemes, make plays, and take care of the football. All right, Coach, we're going to let you go. You know, you guys got some things to do. And uh, look forward to seeing you guys up there in Fayetteville against the Razorbacks Saturday afternoon. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Coach.